So I've just bought this um, MG ZS EV recently, as you probably know if you watch my videos, and these don't have um, schedule charging built into them. But it's not a problem if you've got a modern smart charger. But I've got the old Rolex charger. This is probably three to four years old now. So um, I can't do that delayed overnight charging, uh, which I want to do because I've just gone on to the Octopus um, Go tariff. So what I've done with a bit of help from other YouTube videos is uh, I've purchased a Shelly Wi-Fi switch. And uh, this video it isn't going to show you how to install that, but it's just going to show you that it is possible and that it works. So these Shelly devices only cost £15 or so off Amazon. And it's just a case of wiring it into the control pilot line on the Type 2 socket. So on the Type 2 socket, we've got the... Um, live neutral and earth and the two top pins are communication pins that it talks to the car low voltage pins and the relay is um, breaking into one of those so when it is off it cannot see that the car is plugged in even though it's in and then when the relay comes on it can then communicate with the car and the charger then works so it's a very simple way of overriding the communications between the charger and the vehicle to turn one of these into a smart charger. So I've got the Shelly device here that's going to sit at the bottom of the Rolex unit. The live and neutral are teed off the top of the control model, module there from the live and neutral obviously. The red wire which comes from the Type 2 socket which did go into the CP connection at the bottom now goes into one side of the relay on the Shelly and then the other side of the relay, which in this case I've got the green wire, goes into the CP connection on the control unit. So what that's doing effectively is isolating that um, pilot line from the Type 2 socket. So when the car's plugged in, if the relay is open, i.e. this is switched off, then uh, the wall charger can't see that the car's plugged in. And then in the Shelly, I've already programmed it using the built-in web browser to turn on at 12.30 at night and turn off at 4.30 in the morning. So at 12.30 at night, every single night of the week, this is going to turn on. Whether the cable's plugged in or not, it doesn't matter. That's just going to turn on at 12.30. If the cable's plugged in, instantly then the Rolex will see that the car's there and it will start charging. And at 4.30, it turns off. So I've just tested it, works very well using the manual switch on the web browser and it's working and the car switches on and off. Okay, so uh, very impressed with this unit. Um, the thing that I'm most impressed with is it works on very weak Wi-Fi signal. So I set it up in the kitchen, uh, in the house where I got good Wi-Fi, but I am some distance away from the house. You can just about see the windows down there lit up i think that's about 90 meters because i had to run a cable once um but my phone doesn't work here my phone won't get wi-fi um yet this is and i was very surprised i've yet to screw the case back on but i had it sitting here in the back and that is getting a wi-fi signal which i'm amazed because there can't be much of an antenna in there um but yeah for 15 quid a very cheap way of turning a Rolex dumb charger into a smart charger with web control and timed overnight charging. And then back on my laptop here, uh, I've gone into the IP address for the Shelly unit and I can see here I've got my weekly timer. So it switches on at 12.33 every morning for every day of the week and it switches off at 4.30 every day of the week. So that's using the Octopus Go tariff and I can switch it on at any time there to override the schedule and the car should be charging and then I can switch it off there. So yeah, it works very well. You can use the app, but I struggled with the Shelly app. I didn't find that very um, helpful, but uh, instead I've done it without the app. I've fixed the IP address in my router. So the Shelly device will use DHCP to pick up an IP address. I fixed it. So it's always going to get the same one. So I know the IP address and I can just go into any web browser while I'm on the network and I can switch it on and off 
as I need to, but I should very rarely need to override it. The weekly schedule of the overnight charging is going to be fine for what I need it to do. So overall, I'm really impressed with the Shelley unit to be able to turn a dumb Rolex charger into uh, an IP device with automatic overnight scheduling for 15 quid um, and about half an hour's work. It's just fantastic. So now on the MG, I've got nighttime uh, charging, automatic nighttime charging using the Octopus Go tariff. Uh, so yeah, it's just brilliant because I did think I was going to have to change the charger to a smart charger or uh, by an OMI cable. So um, anyway, I can't take credit for um, doing this. Uh, I did find all the information on another YouTube video, so I'll link that in the description below uh, with all the details. Um, there's also another device you can use. Um, I can't remember the name of it now, but again, I'll put it in the description below because those are half the price. They're only about six or seven quid. But I like the Shelley just because it was a bit more advanced and um, uh, it's smaller so you can hide it away and you can hide it in these there's obviously enough space but my intention is I might use the same devices and start putting them on the wiring circuits in the house so yeah um, there we go uh, so I would just say it's not for the faint-hearted if you don't know what you're doing with wiring and electronics then maybe you shouldn't be opening these up and working on them and again configuring that um, Shelley unit was quite complicated. The app didn't work and I had to manually go in uh, with the IP address and set the networking up and um, uh, that's all fairly easy for me but I still found it very awkward because I spent too much time on the app and I had to do it all manually. So if you're not an IT whiz then uh, you might struggle with them. But anyway uh, that will do for now. As always, if you like the video, please do click that thumbs up because that really does help other people find the channel and more EV videos coming soon. Mm -hmm.